which accolade did Cheryl Cole receive this year? The answer is all three. Those are just uh, three of the amazing awards uh, Cheryl's won this year. Others include top celebrity fantasy cheerleader, the celebrity of the nation would most like to see playing a pantomime princess, style icon of the decade, best breasts in showbiz, ultimate celebrity figure, coolest female celebrity, FHM's world sexiest woman, and my own personal favourite, the Mecco Bingo Award, Mecco Bingo Award for Britain's most inspirational woman. <laughs> Sadly, no Grammys just yet. <laughs> uh, we're into the last part of this morning's show. I'm trying to find out the secret of Cheryl Cole's extraordinary success. Gemma Hardy and Rick will have a go in a moment. You can too on the usual number, 027 173 See if you can do it without using the word nice. Uh, Cheryl Cole, or lovely. Uh, Cheryl Cole, then, our latest Queen of Hearts. Has she taken over from Posh Spice, who took over from Princess Di? That's what the editors of The Sun and the Daily Mirror tell me. Her debut single, it, that's what they tell me, it used to be Diana every Monday, still a shed load of papers, then it was uh, Posh Spice, now it's Cheryl Cole. Her debut so solo single is number one, it shifted more copies than any other this year, and midweek sales figures of her album suggest it's going to beat Michael Jackson and Michael Bublé and everybody else called Michael to number one this <laughs> weekend. And yet, and I don't mean to be spiteful, it's just how I am, her live performance <laughs> on The X Factor two weeks ago was dismal. Right? She mimed at least half of it, and not very well at that either, you know? Is this the best that Britain can do? Is Cheryl the natural successor to that wonderful list of, of rock and roll greats we've had? The Beatles, the Rolling Stones, the Smiths, Blur, Pulp, Queen, Led Zeppelin. Genuine talents that wrote and performed their own beautifully crafted tunes. Cheryl's rise has been remarkable since winning her place in Girls Allowed on Pop Stars seven years ago. Not long after that, she was convicted of assault after punching a nightclub cloakroom attendant in the face in an attack the judge branded an unpleasant piece of drunken violence. He didn't use the word nice or lovely at all when he sentenced her to 120 hours of community service. Indeed, as recently as two years ago, Cheryl topped a list of the worst celebrity examples for British women. How things change, eh? Um, Rick, I'm going to pick on you, as uh, you like, you. I like doing like the youth TV light. Yes, very um, good. You sound exactly like a child. Then. Thank you. Uh, I feel like one. Uh, what is the secret of her extraordinary success? And I can't say nice and I can't you say lovely. You can't say nice or lovely. Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> I think, to be honest, she's quite a, a regular girl. I think people look at her and go, well, she's not that special. I think that's her charm. People go, Living well... Her three she's million a... pound house, uh, just no, no, but she's, her, her, her background, and I think people can sort right, of okay, go, okay. well, that, that could happen to me. Like, she's not... She doesn't have that uh, outlandish talent uh, that a lot of people who are incredibly successful do have. And therefore, she's, she's kind of more accessible. And she does come across on TV, and, you know, behind closed doors, who knows. Um, but she, uh, on TV, she comes across as a very warm sort of genuine person. The, the, the that, maybe that's show, a trick. Uh, that, that they've also worked with her on, on, on other appearances, and they say, and I can only use the words that they use, that she really is lovely yeah. and she really is nice. Yeah, she came on T4 and she was great. Right. Gemma, what do you think? Well, I've got... I mean, I'm a big fan of Cheryl Cole. I think... I just think that, you know, I take my hat off to her. I think she started from Pop Idol. She's come back almost to where she started with The X Factor, and she's... We've come... We're kind of reliving her journey again. I mean, I've, I've followed her from... I mean, I used to watch Pop Reliving Idol. Reliving her journey? Well, Make I do, sound no, like but I just think... Oh, I, I don't mean... Like, no, I just think she's from the public, I think... Gandhi. No, I think we can feel for her. We can under... We, we can... We... Like you said, she's accessible, because we've seen where she's come from. She was a nobody. She was... She went onto a... Onto a, um, a singing show, and she got into a girl band, which is created mega You were telling success. me during the break, you think uh, Ashley has had, has had a yes, part Yes, I do. I think her, also... Uh, the, the, the trouble with... The alleged problems with the marriage... The alleged problems with the marriage, yes. I, thought, I think that, you know, the way she handled herself, I think she was very humble. I think she didn't go for, you know, for press. She didn't do anything like that. She wanted just to didn't kind of... Didn't go for press. Can we just look it's at that picture again? Photo. I don't, I don't <laughs> yeah. Not everybody She's wanders so around like that, do Just they? snapped on the way to Sainsbury's. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. no, Hardy, no. Hardy, time is short down to the last few seconds. What do you think? She is everything that's wrong with this country. <laughs> she absolutely is. We celebrate mediocrity. She doesn't have any talent. She can't sing. She can't dance. She can dance. Don't you cannot No, say she that. can't. Well, She's I not she... actually better than seven out of ten at anything she does. We want bland so why is she and so beige. Successful? Because everyone sees quite a lot of themselves in her. Okay. What do people say at home? Uh, we've got mixed reviews. Uh, we're first, uh, we've got a call of action. Tracy's on line one. Tracy, what do you think the secret of her success is? I think it is because, um, I suppose, like Lady Di, she actually shows... She's human. She shows compassion. 
she, she actually cries in front of people. Which Tracy, 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 <laughs> Tracy, Tracy, I don't know why we would ever elevate anybody to uh, sort of admirable status because, because they, cry. they cry. Thank you for the call. Let's have one more. Rachel's online too. Yeah. Uh, Rachel, good morning, Rachel. Oh, hi, yeah. Uh, um, do, do you like that? No, not anymore. I think the crying's a bit fake. Um, I did used to think, yeah, you know, she's a pop, in a pop band, just uh, another sort of young pop artist, but I think... Now she's turning into a bit of a hypocrite, um, especially with her comments on this season. The fact that she seems to be too big for her boots. Stop it, Rachel! Stop. Oh no, he's going to punch someone soon. He's going to punch someone. Oh, that's all we got time for today. Trish is up next. Uh, goodbye to this wonderful bunch here. Great to see you, Rick. It really Thank has been great fun. Don't you. miss them on T4 Hollyoaks Music Show. Gemma Hardy. Give it up for our panel. <laughs> now then, Friday, our special guest is the new star of the Doctor Who spin-off of Sarah Jane Adventures, actress Elizabeth Sladen. Looking forward to seeing her. And don't forget, by the way, the latest episode of Vice Squad, tonight at nine, right here on Five. Tough for you coming in this morning. Bye for now. Yeah.